back in the Volvo S80. Today we will be replacing this starter button that's very worn and uh, I'll show you how to do it. Let's get some tools. The tools required are not many. Plastic bone tool or something to pry plastic with. I think it's an 8mm we will need and a T25 Torx. So let's get started. We will start by prying this plastic upwards. That should loosen this part as well. They come out as a, not a unit, but they are connected. You can see here is the clip that's holding it. It's the same on the other side. Once this is off, this one is actually pushed into the plastic. So we'll go. That's how the fasteners look. It's the same on the other side. just pull it towards you. This exposes two T25 torxes and there are also two up here. Once um, when the screws are loose you should be able to reach in top here the whole instrument cluster should be able to lean out towards you okay there we go and by experience I usually leave the instrument clusters connected to the car if it's possible you can remove the battery or whatever but just to keep it simple I will leave it connected. It's putting it like that. So, let's see if we can... The starter button is over here. And there is an air duct. There is an air duct going here. It can be removed. Um, with the T, T25 Torx up here. You can see the the bottom of the screw so there's a screw head here and one over here this one is loosening this air pipe that's going to this air duct so I'm going to loosen the screw and then show you how to remove it okay that screw is now removed so this let's see if we can get some focus in here this air duct is now loose Okay, to loosen the air duct, I just twist it forward. And that loosens that air duct. If you can see how it's mounted like this, I just twist it like that and it pops out of the pipe going into the center, center vents here. I pop out the connector on the back of the button assembly. That's just a clip on it. It's an uh, eight millimeter socket. And you can feel on the back of the button assembly there are three um, screws that you need to take out. Let's do that. Loosen the screws, they will not fall out, so then you just reach in and you grab this assembly. And I'm going to show you, okay, we, we forgot to show you one tool. We need one tool to poke into the holes there to release the old button. Let's do that. The button is held in with 
two plastic notches in the outer housing that goes into these holes. So you poke in from the back and you, you try to push the outer housing a bit outward. And that will release one side and then you go for the other one. I'll show you. Let's see if we can go from this side instead. Oh, there we go. Here you can see the... The two notches that hold the button in. Now it's just a matter of... Let's make sure we put it in, in, in the correct or orientation. Perfect. It was a bit fiddly to get out, but you'll, you'll get it. If you've come this far, you're not going to stop for this. You might crack the housing just a little bit. I'm not sure that's a big deal, but let's put everything back together. And it's uh, basically the reversal of rem removal. Let's put in the button. So this pipe is going to be the hardest part of this whole job, I'd, I think. Putting the pipe somewhere behind the other pipe. So the pipe should go in that hole somehow. I ended up loosening the other screw, uh, which I should have done from the get-go to because that gives the whole piping more flexibility. So I now got it in. It's a little bit hard to feel when it's engaged, but it, it, it's in there. So now I'm gonna reinstall the screws, put some double-sided stick tape here for the sound de deadening, and put everything back together. Don't forget the cable. And that's everything done, and now we can see how good the starter button looks. And let's see, so the car works. Oh yeah! Everything's fine. Perfect, that's job good, well done. And yes, we have air coming out of the... <laughs> middle vents and if we switch down to the feet these should close up and they do so the flappy flap is working so thank you so much for watching 
and I'll see you in the next video.